Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. Why? Anyway. Hello and welcome back to the uh, Red Strings Club. <laughs> I was trying to read this. <laughs> I forgot the name. I was trying to read the sign, but it looked like a P and I was like the pet. No, it's not the ped club. Welcome back to the Red Strings Club. Uh, so last time, remember, we we got to the bot. Well, sort of to the bottom. We got to close to a bottom. Um, of the whole murder mystery killing sprees that's been going on on the Supercontinent Limited. Like the production, because Ariadne was killed, right? And we restored the robot. Anyway, Cora, listen. Never again say the customer's name. Okay, so this is what we did last time. Why not? Because it makes them feel uncomfortable and paranoid. We start repeating when there's a red string of the heaven sorts. My clients have value and their names. Their names are in front of the thing you call the robot button. But it was different than the trainee. This is what happened to me. Okay. This is where, where, well, what we did last time, right? Don't sweat it. Just keep in mind. It won't happen again, Donovan. Very well, Akara. Very well. Oh, you give their key and they go to the bank vault in Gringotts. Let's focus on your aptitudes instead of your weaknesses. Get any interesting insights from the um, from your empathic algorithms? Indeed. However, I don't see any easy way to properly communicate them. So I'd like to propose a game. A game? You're full of surprises! Play is one of the most primal human devices for learning and development. Transmitting the vast amount of data I've gathered from your conversation with Diana is impossible. So, I've designed a process to let you reach your own conclusions. Moreover, I get to better understand you so we can improve as a team. Sounds like pro HR talk. <laughs> but sure, I'm in. How do we play? I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Ten to be exact. I have my own answers to them, but I'm most... Most? More and most? E that's double. Interested in your input. When we are finished, I will let you know how many of them you got right. If your score is at least 7 out of 10, I'll grant you a new skill. What? <laughs> what? A new skill? Did they use the AI of an RPG villager to build you? <laughs> I was gonna say, you can do that? You can just grant me new skills? I'm not sure you know how the world works, Car. And what the hell? Can you even do that? Man, me and Donovan. I feel like that's me in the future. Maybe it is. When is this? Let's say that this is like 2040. I'd be... old. Ah, oh, maybe it is me. A game without reward proves to be very dull. And yes, I can grant you something to improve your bartending skills. Why don't you just give it to me now? I'm designed to make you happy. A much different thing than granting your every wish. Sometimes I feel like you're some dumb mannequin, but now... I believe the very devil could be running you through your circuits. <laughs> Why? She's nice. Shall I begin? Uh, this is exciting. You're more twisted than I thought. Give it to me. Baby? Uh-huh. Uh, is Diana physically attracted to you? Come again? What kind of question is that? And how am I supposed to know? Well, she did say that if she had emotion, she would love you. Durr. Please, just answer my question. I know what I'm doing. Is Diana physically attracted to you? Okay, so based on our conversation, I would say yes, because she's sort of implied by saying outright that she would want to be with Donovan. Yes. Is Diana 100% loyal to Supercontinent? Ooh. Is she 100% loyal? So, she was having doubts, right? Well, it said, like, she, Diana... Can I, like, check this? Yeah, look. Diana doubted herself on the ethics of SPW. There was another path which we did not go down. 
Uh, oh, look. Oh, shit, there's three paths for every, like... Wait, this is two, though. We went two ways. What? Diana did doubt herself, though. So that's, like, my path I'm taking. Is she 100% loyal? I would say... 95. Is she proud of social psyche welfare? Yeah, I think she is. Would Diana be happier without the effects of social psyche welfare? I mean, ob objectively, no. But overall, yes. Overall. Does Diana know about the mirror neuron algorithm? No. I don't even... <laughs> what was that again? I forget. Who is the person Diana most admires? Herself? Tesla? CEO? Nah. Me. <laughs> no. Herself? Tesla? I'm gonna say Tesla, because Tesla is a cool dude. Regarding your bartending, what spirit does Diana enjoy the most? I don't know. The, the, the up or down? Wait. Up was pride. And up is... Bourbon? Brown. Bourbon. Did Diana lie to you during your conversation? I don't think so. I don't- I didn't get the sense that she was lying at all. She felt honest. What is Diana's greatest fear right now? Being depressed. Prox- Proxima? I th think, well, I don't think it's super, well, see, it could be all of these three, because super continent, because she doesn't know who the CEO is, and she's worried about what's going to happen with that, but also being depressed, I suppose, because she's making social psyche welfare, which is meant to suppress anything negative, but also Proxima, because they could... They're like the rebels, right? So they could m kill her? I'm gonna say being depressed. I think that's her greatest fear, which is why she both had emotions removed and also is constructing social psyche welfare. Yeah. Is social psyche welfare as bad as you thought? This one I can't fail since it's my opinion, no? Maybe it's as hard as not lying. Is SPW as bad as you thought? No, but it should be optional. That's a good... Yeah, I can see that. If it's... Because if you're if you're suffering from, like, stuff like clinical depression and that kind of really, like, really chronical stuff that is a hindrance to your day-to-day -day life, then this feels like a good way to, to sort of get on with your with your life. But if it's just, oh, I, I missed my train, I'm sad now, that stuff shouldn't be suppressed or like, you know, normal sadness. Because there's a big difference between being sad and being depressed. So yes, sure, but it should be optional. No, but it should be optional. I mean, nowadays you can have whatever psychoactive drugs you want. Becoming a smiling bastard should be the decision of the implant wearer. This silent update is a crime, no matter how you look at it. Agreed. Told a car SPW in the wrong should be- Okay, yeah. Okay, that was the last question. Did I pass? You got 7 out of 10. <sighs> Average. Just what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Congratulations, you're a sharp man, Donovan. That sounds a little condescending, but thank you. I succeeded, hooray! Did I- what did I win? I'm going to produce a short span memory resetter for you. Is that a cool name for a shot? <laughs> memory. No. One of my abilities is to synthesize psychoactive drugs. The system was designed to deal with emergency anxiety crises and such, but given the unusual context we're in, I can widen its purposes. Whoa! 
Add this to a client's drink and they will think that they just sat down at the bar for the first time. What you can ex... This way, that way, you can explore different paths in a conversation without them noticing. That sounds crazy and a bit immoral. Why, aren't you manipulating them with your drinks? I thought this would be helpful. Aha, uh -huh. got me there. So basically we got like a checkpoint or like a reset, undo, we got a control Z in terms of questioning. It's neat, nice, nice way to, to put it into the game mechanics of the game world without having a reload. I like it. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'm sorry, Donovan. It's okay. I'll save it for an emergency. Say, how much of this can you produce? Not much. I have a limited chemical repository for such purposes. So I'd rather keep these as prizes for our little games. How playful of you. Gotcha. Let's keep it like this, then. Oh, ooh, okay. I detect a client approaching the club. So, Spoon? I didn't expect anyone else tonight. I mean, you are a bar. You should probably hope for it. Do you want me to check their background? Yes, please. They got none. <laughs> it's a newborn baby. No background. Naima? Naima. Kos. 34 years old. She's a corporate lawyer. Ooh. At Supercontinent. Footage from nearby locations shows that she's been shadowing Diana. Uh-oh. This might be troublesome. Do you want me to drive her away? Can you do that? I could send a fake emergency meeting request to her phone, for example. Your skill set begins to seem uncanny. Yeah, right? That's like... <coughs> that's like Breaking Bad, you know? When they when they do the whole thing and they send like an emergency like to the to the to the to the guy what's his what's his face the policeman like your your wife's at the anyway do you want me to drive her away nah let her in she's man, she's she, everyone needs booze every now and then. it's fate if fate brought her to the red strings club there has to be a reason and we're happily going to exploit that. I didn't say exploit just then. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the Red Strings Club. Absinthe on the rocks. <clears throat> Absinthe on the rocks, please. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, miss. I'm afraid I can't just serve that to you. This is not your usual bar. Here, you tell me how you feel, and I fix you a matching drink. I see. Then I feel like asking you a series of questions regarding why you're prying into my client's business. How dry. <laughs> Must be a liar, no. That's correct. I'm here representing Supercontinent's interests. What was Diana Mai's business here? Hold your horses. Gotta get booze in you first. Apart from serving drinks, I'm also an information broker. So, questions have a price tag in this club. Okay. How much? Here's my deal. You ask as many questions as you want, and then I get to ask that many questions myself. Sneaky, I like it. Fair enough. Although, I should inform you that, unlike you, I won't be able to disclose any of my clients' sensitive information. Fair enough. Although, I must let you know that, unlike you, I may... I know my way around empathy and subtlety. You risk leaking more information than you might think. I'll take my chances, Mr. The name's Donovan, owner of the Red Strings Club. Nice to meet you. I am Naima Koss, corporate lawyer of Supercontinent Limited. Shall we commence business? Fire away. What was Diana Mays' business here? She needed to po. I got a restroom back here. No. Dude, look, we got like those kinds of saloon doors over there. That's neat. Um, boom, boom, boom. She's an old friend. Nah. She, I wanted to gather some information on SBW. Let's maybe not do that one. I hired her to do some implant work. I mean, can I say that? She is an old friend, though. It's not a lie. Is it? We knew each other. 
is an old friend. She pays me a visit every now and then. We had a drink and caught up. That's it. Please, at least have the decency not to lie to me. I won't lie to you either. If I can dis if I can't disclose something, I will clearly specify so. Except that that was the truth, Miss Koss. Friendship might sound like sound alien in your world, but we still keep loving each other at a street level. Ah, I kept her safe. Next question is about Proxima organization. The Proxima. They've been making trouble for my client lately. I'd like to know exactly what Proxima's got on Supercontinent Limited. Okay. Uh, lie. Proxima knows about your new CEO. Tell her Proxima snatched an Akara unit. She's right there. No. <laughs> Tell her about Ariadne's findings. So, this is a potential danger for me though, right? Because if I tell her about Ariadne's findings, meaning the SPW stuff, then, and she, and, and Naima is representing Supercontinent, then she, they, will know that I know, and that's what got Ariadne killed? Do I want to let them know that I know that they know I know what they know? You know? Or, I don't want to lie though. Or do I? No, I'm going to say, no. Nah. I mean, I do have the pill. Just slip her that. I'm going to tell her that they have an Akara unit because I got to give her some, right? I don't know how they covered their tracks, but does your client know that Proxima snatched one of their top secret Akara androids? Is that true? So you're confirming the existence of such androids? Save us both. Save us both the time and skip the caption. Cap. Cap. Captious? Questions, sir. Alright, alright. <laughs> Save your rhetorical ones then, too, eh? <laughs> Fair enough. Just tell me what you know. She's, she's into it. From what I've heard, Proxima got their hands on an old version of Akara. I know they've been experimenting with it, I don't know what they've gotten out of it. But it must be good since Akara was the main business of that girl that infiltrated your clinic. That's useful information, thank you. Next question. Where is Joanna Septis? Who? Come again. Where is Joanna Septis? You're saying that as if I should know her. What a poor information dealer you are if you don't even know that... If you don't even know Supercontinent's chief operations officer. Oh, C-E-C-O-O. -O. I don't know her, do I? Well, she was in the thing where she was. She got like stuff shoved into her. What's, what, what, why, why? What's the matter, is she missing? Forget about it. What did we put in her? Whoa, I thought that was it, but this goes on for a. Oh, no. That's a long one. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, there you go. What did I put in her? Oh yeah, look, I installed the hippie compassion magnifier, magnifier, and then she went missing. Forget about it. That's all I had to ask. My turn then. Go ahead. You have three questions. I can't have you sitting there without a drink though. This is a club after all. Okay, but I won't be telling you how I feel or any of that nonsense. Don't worry, you let me know enough about yourself already for me to work my magic. If you know what I'm saying, making drinks. Trust me, you'll like this. Ooh, stress, remorse, ambition. Why is ambition the peace sign? Uh, I mean, I don't... 
I don't know what questions I'm asking her, though. Right? So how do I know what I'm going for when I don't know the questions? Let's go for some remorse. That's... Uh, is that ice? No, that just... Well, yes, because it makes it smaller. Okay. Down then. This is this has got to be vodka. This looks like a vodka puddle. They're usually like clear, right? Stop! Perfect. And then some of the custard. Mmm, vodka and custard. I know you like this one. Niobe. What was your name? Serving. Here you go! Some custard and vodka. Ooh. Hmm. I have to admit, you serve some good stuff here. There you go, Naom Na Naya Naima. Cat I'm just gonna call you Koss. <sighs> what am I doing in a bar at a time like this? Someone troubling you? No, nothing. My place to not my place to judge a client. Just ask your questions. Hmm. Could she be going through an ethical ethical crisis? Let's dig in. Three questions left. <laughs> well, that's what you think. Got a pill. Uh, what is the deal with Joanna Septis? Ooh, I do want to know that. Tell me more about social psyche welfare's le 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 legality. Who's the highest authority? Bluff. Why didn't you tell this? Why didn't the CEO tell me about you? What? Will everything be ready for the unveiling? Okay, so we're not hiding the fact that we know then, I suppose. Why is that? Why is that a bluff? Will everything be ready for an unveiling? Uh, unveiling? Okay. Anyway, we served her the remorse drink, right? So let's ask something that she'd be remorseful of. Something like the legality. Wait, what's my? Can I? What's my? See, I don't want to click the book because if I click the book, then it will also click that option. I can't like not click anywhere I do. I click the thing, right? I can't click the book. Dang it. See, even if I click like out here. Oh, maybe. Can I click the book without clicking without clicking that? I need to find out, what is the mirror neuron algorithm? I need to find out when they plan to execute this. Oh, the next week bit. What role does Akara play? What is, why is super, is it legal? Who is the CEO? Okay, I'm gonna ask about the legality. It's not remorse though. Stress maybe? Okay, let's do this one. What is the deal with Joanna Septis? She... It's only natural, she's missing. Do you mind telling me more? Maybe I can help you with this. For the record, I'm only sharing this because Joanna's life might be in danger. Otherwise, I would never break an attorney-client privilege. Don't worry, it's very clear to me how de detestably professional you are. So what happened to Joanna? Last thing we know is that some of her co-workers heard her crying in the bathroom. That's very unlike her, so the theory is that there might be a problem with her implants. Or that someone drugged her. We need to track her down before she does something stupid. I've already said enough. Knowing that... Knowing that, have you heard anything that might be able to help us? I'm perplexed. Nothing has reached my ears yet, though. I'll stay on the lookout for any clues, and I'll call you if I find anything useful. Out of price, of course. Money's not a problem. If you find anything, just call me and you'll be appropriately rewarded. Seems that Ariadne's rough rogue implants have fulfilled their purpose. Boom. A car gave Joanna the hippie, which magnifies compassion. Maybe she was having second thoughts and broke down. Hey yo. Two questions left. Um 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 
I feel like. I feel like. I feel like. A penguin with no beak. No, I feel like we should serve another drink and give her some stress. Because I want to ask about the legality and I want to bluff about uh, the unveiling. Let's do another drink. Ambition, remorse, stress or ambition? Let's do a stress and then ask about the... Wait, legality? Nah, let's do a stress one. Uh, up. I don't know what ambition would be. Maybe why the CEO never talked about me? That could be a good one, ambition-wise, but do I care? Maybe that'll make her tell me who the CEO is, though. Yeah? Anyway, let's do this for now. What is this? Is this the absinthe? I don't know. Whoop. This is the... So I have... Wait. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. <laughs> so I have custard, bourbon, cleaning fluid, and vodka. Let's give her some of this. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Cleaning fluid. This is this is gonna clean clean your cleanse your thoughts. Eh. Oh, yeah. Have a stress full drink. What does that taste like? Mmm. Sweat. Look, I shouldn't be wasting my time here. Make your questions quick. I have a lot on my plate. A drink won't hurt. Relax. She looks stressed. Let's exploit that. Two questions left. Choose your topic wisely. So, tell me more about the legality now that you're stressed out. Boom. Would you please explain social psyche welfare's legality to me? Because I still can't imagine how you convince the government to buy into it. Listen, you don't need to pry on this one because it's all perfectly above board. The government has been in... The government has been in since the very beginning and... And implant users are also on board, since all of them signed the terms and conditions. Whoa, 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 stop right there. Are terms and conditions really that legally binding? I mean, no one reads them. Well, if people don't give a shit about accepting long chunks of texts, it's their problem. And this is just like downloading iTunes. People actually agree to the forms in our clinics. As the contract says, the user's physiology may be altered to ensure a stable mind-body environment, and the Ministry of Health has determined depression, anxiety, and similar disorders to be serious social hazards. What a load of bullshit. If a client doesn't agree with a firmware update, they can always decline it. Yeah, and render the hardware obsolete in the process. Listen, implants aren't a human right. So if someone isn't happy with the new update, they can just go back to their old, all-natural selves. Except that they'll be too busy smiling like idiots to even think about it. So, this is basically that South Park episode where they turn Kyle into the human sentai pad, right? You're welcome to take this to court if you're so offended by it. Haha, <laughs> nah. Alright. I'll keep fighting freedom one drink at a time. Last question then. All right, let's. Look, she's tapping her foot because she's all stressed out. Let's serve her the ambition drink and then ask about the CEO and then she'll be like, what the what? So why CEO not talk about me? Am I not important? That's my plan. Whoop, whoop. Uh, left a bit. Have a cup of cleaning fluid. Oh, I thought I was out of it. <laughs> Wait, this is awkward. There you go. Just straight detergent. Go for it. So I got my absinthe on the rocks in the end. You really know your game, though. This is the best glass of absinthe I've ever had. Straight absinthe with, with two pieces of ice? I mean, yeah. I put... A lot of effort on that one. Really invigorating. I feel great. Ha <laughs> ha! Glad you like it. She seemed to be power drunk. 
<laughs> time to attack. Uh, let's bluff her. Why didn't the CEO tell me about you? Excuse me? Are you talking about her? Huh? The supercontinent CEO? Oh, our clientele is more distinguished than you might expect. I'm curious as to why I haven't been warned about your visit. Are you acting on your own? Of course not! But I don't get my orders directly from Rad Hika. That's nuts. Hmm, Rad Hika. <laughs> you know, since then. Since I got a lot of like facts and stuff. The red string. Ooh. You know, since Jack left his position to Radhika, we've had some unusual requests from your company. I haven't been informed of that. For example? Oh, I'm sorry, but I definitely won't cross that line. It's Radhika we're talking about. This matter is this matter totally outranks you. Forget I asked about it. I'll let her know you've come by. Wait, it's my duty to know about my client's endeavors. You've got nothing to fear. It's all protected by the attorney-client representation agreement. Couldn't you at least tell me what it was my company wanted from you? Let's exchange secrets. Uh, should we push it? Let's push it. Tell you what. Let's exchange secrets about Radhika. You tell me something juicy, and I'll tell you what her business what her business was here. It's my boss we're talking about. Yeah. You go first. All right, Radhika may want to get rid of you. Wanted info on the former CEO. Wanted info. On Let's say that. She wanted... I don't think info on the former CEO is any use, because why would she come here? I think she wanted info on Proxima. She wanted info on Proxima. Really? Why do we even have our own hounds at Supercontinent? You shouldn't risk coming to places like this just to ask about terrorist scum. Maybe she had matters to deal with that her hounds shouldn't be aware of. Nonsense. We will always protect the company. The company, sure, but her? In any case, I told you what I what her business was here. Your turn. Tell me something I don't know about her. You seem to know much more about her than myself. I rarely see her in person, but and I've never spoken with her directly. Only thing I can tell you is that she's incredibly intelligent for her age. The company's changed so much since she started running it. The kid's a genius. Kid? Just how young is she? My boss is 15 years old! Joke's on me. Shit. I imaginarily served her drinks. I'm gonna lose my, my license. What? Is it legally possible for a teenager to run a corporation? With lawyers as good as I am? Yes. Although, she isn't officially running it yet. What a crazy world we live in. <laughs> well, I'm afraid you've run out of questions. I've got much to do tonight, so bye 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 bye. You drunk? I mean, you should be. Sure, go and spread law through town. You seem to be enjoying yourself. So just in case, I'll inform you of the current situation. Supercontinent is going through turbulent times right now. That's good. That spells change for a company. I've seen it many times. But in the process, there's usually a trail of casualties. That, the way you're playing right now, you've got a ticket to becoming one of them. Be well warned, Mr. Barton. Didn't know corporate lawyers were in the business of ex extending such stylish death threats. Ha! There are many fates worse than, the, than death when it's when up against corporate law. Shit. She's gonna take away my jukebox. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Dude, I got like a Phoenix Wright do going on. It's got like the pointy back, pointy back, back, back. Objection. Oh, is that a save? Oh, it's saved. Okay. Uh, It's not 
been very long ago. That was a short-ish conversation. Let's go for a bit more. Was my performance to your satisfaction this time? Excellent. Thank you very much. So, quiz time. If you please. Of course, I find it quite amusing, in fact. 7 out of 10 more earns me a prize, right? Go ahead. Is Naima Kos a psychopath? What, you aren't going to ask me if she was attracted to me this time? That's irrelevant for Naima's case. Answer the question, please. Is Naima Kos a psychopath? A psychopath? Nah. I mean, she's weird and very business. But I don't think she's a psychopath. What is her top priority right now? To investigate Diana's loyalty, I suppose? To find Joanna's... Wait, what, what, what did she say about that? Got a lead. Um, bah, bah, bah. I mean, it could be to find Joanna. It could be either of these, right? To access the danger? Nah. I feel like her top priority is to find Joanna for now. Johanna or Diana? Johanna, Diana. Johanna, Diana. Johanna, Diana. Johanna. Is SPW in jeopardy? Nah. Does Naima know about Mina? The mirror neuron asshole. No. She didn't bring it up once, even in passing, when we were talking about SPW, so I think no. Does Naima perceive you as a threat? Nah. Is Naima capable of betraying Supercontinent? Yeah, nah. nah. Is she capable of conver co co covering murder for her employer? Yeah. Is she capable of committing murder for her employer? Nah. Regarding social psyche welfare, does Naima believe SPW is a good thing? I think it's irrelevant because she is too... She's too business. She's too focused on just doing her job that she doesn't care about what her job is. Does she believe it's a good thing? No. Do you think technology manufacturers have the right to alter their products after sale? What do you mean? If Supercontinent designed, created, and distributed the human upgrades, do they have the right to modify them? As in, by adding SPW? Among other things, do they have the right to modify them? I mean... Yes. In terms of updates, yes. But they should be clear about it. No, uh, with, let's see. No, once purchased, it, it's yours. No, technology bears responsibility. Yes, but they should be clear about it. Yes, we wouldn't have it without them, after all. So... I think that if you buy something, then the thing itself should be yours. They have the right to update it, but they should always, always, always ask you first, and they should be clear. There should be a clear change log, and you should always have the option to not upgrade if you don't want it. That isn't the case with most things these days, sadly. Like how they did with back even a long time ago they updated or upgraded updated the playstation 3 so that it couldn't you couldn't install linux on it anymore and they've like they've done that a lot of times like they they upgrade stuff so that you can do less with it because what you could do was was something they hadn't foreseen which i don't like it, i don't think you should you should be able to not accept that kind of upgrade if you don't want it so they have the right to modify it in terms of software 
but they should be clear about it. Supercontinent is concealing the fact that something they sold is going to fundamentally change you. Isn't that the normal procedure for all technology? Dozens of firmware updates are pushed on a daily basis. It's users accepting its terms and conditions blindfolded. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. So are you saying this is the public's fault? I'm not very versed in the human concept of fault. It is my understanding, though, that accepting something without thought is a sign of trust. In this case, I'd rather call it ignorance than trust. Yeah, and it's also scummy business practices in general to push that sort of stuff. People have been indoctrinated over the years to accept whatever updates corps throw at them. So the problem is not supercontinent modifying its creation, but the lack of education amongst its users. In a free society, isn't education an individual responsibility? Not in my opinion, the powerful educate. There you go. Donovan, I like you. Parents teach, schools teach, the media teaches, the government teaches. The issue might be then that you don't agree with what they are teaching. Told the car I'm coming to clear but okay. That's beyond doubt, yes. What was that a question or just food for thought? Indeed, that was the tenth question. Thank you for elaborating. And how'd I do? Eight out of ten! Ho ho! Ha 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 ha! Ooh! Mm, that's a B minus, at least. Sweet. Congratulations, you've won. Won! They're full. What did I win? Ooh, uh, ooh. Look at me zigzagging my way through life. Shit. Oh, you could just win or fail? Uh, okay, good. A short uh, memory reset. Woo! Pow. Just accidentally get it in my mouth. <laughs> So how about this test? Shall we do it? Oh, I thought it was going to be a different prize this time. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You're right, that variety in the rewards can improve the game's design. I'll try to think of something different for the next time we play. Haha, <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. Although, I gotta confess, the anticipation has me excited for the next game already. Glad to hear you're having fun. Ah, uh, listen. I think I'm gonna close for today. My gut tells me we won't be getting any more clients until tomorrow. Yes, it doesn't look like it. Can you tell me? Can you tell too? Do you have instincts? What humans call instincts are just deductions your brain has drawn for you. You simply can't follow the logical sequence due to the vast amount of data your brain processes. Unlike you, I am able to keep up with my brain. So basically, yes, your gut is right. I like her. <laughs> I like these two. We won't be having any more clients tonight. Good to hear, because my leg is killing me. Just <laughs> a gun comes up, hold, held by a knee. Help. Call the police. No. Let's call it a night. Oh, that was a good. That was good. I think that went well. Ooh. Vega. Who this? So... Social psyche welfare is some sort of digital happy pill. And the mirror neuron algorithm is supposed to spread it? Even among non-implant users? What kind of voodoo is that? Beats me! Donovan is looking into it. <laughs> what? Kian Quan Bing? Kian Bing? Quan Bing? What is his name? What? Who? Is that you? We're pretty much fucked. Supercontinent's private, sea, private network is inaccessible from the outside, and their tower is an ex isn't the kind of place you can just walk into precisely. You left us with a nice farewell present, eh, Ariadne? She's, she's going to enjoy all of this. I always loved the hustle, that punk. Uh, shall we perform the last rites? Sure you guys want me in on this? What is happening here? I'm not even part of Proxima. For some reason, Ariadne has chosen you as one of her digital heirs, so... Digital heirs? 
just accept her brandy. She shall out. She shall live through us. Okay, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Do it. Oh shit. Ariadne, I will. I'll have your empathy. Oh, they're like scavenging her. Scavenging her modules. Let me better read into our enemies' souls. Let me better understand her ally's ally's passion. Did you just shove it in your Walkman? Ariadne, I'll have your wits. Allow me to art smart our foes. Help me survive on the field. Oh, you just put okay. Ariadne, I'll have your knowledge. Determination. Knowledge. I'll have your knowledge. Oh. I hope you don't regret this. Dude, can you be a bit more poetic? <laughs> Sorry. And look as corny as you two? No way. <laughs> Alright. Release her into the ocean now. Goodbye, warrior. Oh! Donovan. Oh, hey, look. Hey, Brandy. How you doing? Yeah, I'm about to open shop. Open shop? Oh. Oh, it's the next day. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Car is doing great. You gotta see them. They even designed a little game for us to play between clients. Come on. Don't be jealous. You can play with us when you're back. Did you find anything useful? Wow. You sure work fast. But we, we're not getting the other side of it. And when is this security breach happening? Tomorrow? It just started gathering info. We need more time. You sure there won't be another opportunity? Oh, shit. You'll need to do us a favor then. Find the soul. Investigates has been on the scene. What? Uh, can I check my, like, things? Who is CEO? Look for the director of the Mina. Do we want to find the soul? Fiscal Superman and CEO. Let's do that. Wait, do we investigate the CEO? Jen was very worried about Superman and CEO. She was genuinely frightened. I'm telling you. Diana has this crazy theory that the company's current CEO isn't Jack Beginner. We know this. Laugh all you want. Mm. But I happen to find out she's right. A god out of Naima Kos, Supercontinent's corporate lawyer, tricked her into chatting about the new CEO, and she started talking about someone named Radika. You should start there. And Brandy, be careful. She might be dangerous. Donovan, someone's approaching that bar. Gotta go. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, that's. I think that's a good stopping point. We have a nice little arc. And we have a, a new, a brand new day and a new special secret client coming in. Who will it be? We just won't know until next time. Uh, but it's a cool game. I, I'm, I'm interested to see how, because, so you can see here that after all of these choices, we have to go down. Inevitably, it all leads to Brandy falling out of the tower, because that's where the game started, right? Um... But we're like, what? Through this story branch, we're like probably halfway through? Yeah, I'd say so. So we need to find out more things about the CEO. We need to find, and they're hacking tomorrow or like breaking in tomorrow. A bit stressful, but that'll about do it. I hope you've enjoyed this for now. And until next time, do take care. And I'll see you around. Farewell. Well.